welcome to a new weekly video so today i'm going to bring you my favorites of the month of february i'm actually cheating a little bit and filming this video a little bit earlier in the month but um it's just to make sure that it comes out at the right time uh, i like it to come out either the last week of the month or very early in the next month um, I have a bit of random stuff in there, really, when I, I have a chair with everything sitting beside me, I'm thinking this is actually quite random. So, I'm going to start with the beauty products because I know some people watch the videos only for the beauty stuff and this way they can just watch that part and then that's it. Um, so the first thing I got is actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. Now I do have, um, my lipstick is not smudged, I do have quite a lot of breakouts around my mouth at the moment. Um, so it's just the color that's on my lips. It's the Rouge Edition, it's the Bourgeois uh, Rouge Edition Velvet and it's the color uh, number 11 and it's called So Hot Pink uh, and it is um, exactly the color, like this is clear. This is what I have at the moment. Um, it does look a little brighter on camera than it actually is and I love the feel of it on uh, the name Velvet is perfect for it, that's exactly what it feels like. I usually don't like matte uh, lipstick too much because I have dry lips to start with and they tend to dry my lips even more. But this one I feel is really light and you don't feel like you have something on and I like that texture thing more than anything else. And I needed something a bit more pink. Uh, coming to spring I want to bring a bit more pink into my makeup I find and this is uh, the perfect way to do it. So, next one something i actually got to go with it is bourgeois as well it's one of their blusher and this one is in shade 33 lila d'or and i'm going to show it to you like this i'm actually wearing it uh, today i'm going to try and show you the so it is a pink with some gold but it has some bluey um tinge it's like a it's like a mauvey pink basically um I have it on at the moment it's very hard to see but it's uh, perfect I think if you have pale skin because it is pink without being too bright uh, and I really like it I have another pink well the orgasm one is a bit more a, a bit warmer I find so this one is great for when I have pink lipstick I think it just stays in better so I really like that for that and also uh, the bourgeois blushers they all say, smell so nice it's like a perfumey scent Almost like a powder thing, but it's the stone thing that smells just smells like bourgeois to me, and I just love that smell so much. Really, really love it. Next thing is <clears throat> these. They are some. So I know it's not doesn't look that interesting when I show it like that. They are mini hair grips. So I'm going to show you compared to my finger. So this is my finger, and this is how. If I can show it to you, this is how tiny they are like this and they are great for so I have some on there to just pull my hair back but I have since my pregnancy loads of little uh, like flyaways like that when I have my hair down I don't mind so much but when I have my hair up sometimes it's just too much around my face and these are perfect to just pull things in like in plaits and things like that there is some in brown and some in black in that and they are from Superdrug I think that's their own brand yeah it has a little star there I can't remember how much they costed but they're really inexpensive and I just thought those are very handy. I've never seen such small ones before to be honest so they might exist I just don't know it. That's kind of it for the beauty products I'm afraid. <laughs> the rest is really random. The first thing is this. <clears throat> this is my life savior at the moment. So the reason I go for these over standard um, multivitamin tablets is first of all because I just find that they work far better. I used to take the um, liquid form of these uh, whenever I was breastfeeding Alfie and the only thing is I don't like the taste of it and have to have it first thing in the morning with nothing in my stomach was giving me really bad acid reflux until I ate something so and you have to take it half an hour before a meal so it was just not nice at all and the taste is valid and you also have to keep the bottle in the fridge so it's not very handy I ended up forgetting about this and all that uh, important to point out just in case it's important to you it's not really to me it's suitable for vegetarians it's lactose free and it's gluten free as well um, and these make a massive difference I 
kind of thought first, or maybe it's a placebo, it doesn't really work until I forgot to take them. And the tiredness. Can we talk about the tiredness that hit me? It's ridiculous. I think the ad, I saw once like a poster in the shop and it was saying, are you tired of being tired? And honestly, it really works. It really does what it says. And I do like the fact that it is um, made mostly from natural stuff instead of synthetic chemical stuff. So, Pro Radix is my friend at the moment to get me through the days. I don't know what to pick next because it's kind of random. Um, well, stay in the tiredness thing and the reason why I'm tired. Children. Baby food. <laughs> so, this month I've been loving one thing. Well, Alfie have been loving one thing, therefore I have loved it myself. It's the Ella's Kitchen hoops. So they come in different shapes. So these ones are the vanilla and bananas one. They are from 10 months old and they kind of, it's like Cheerios really, but they melt quicker. Uh, I also have, I think the other ones are tomato, I don't know if it's tomato and basil, it's tomato and cheese or tomato and basil, I can't remember, like a savory version of them. And then they also have these, now Alfie's not 12 months old yet, but he's still eating those and he's fine with them, he's always supervised anyway. They are their breakfast ones and they are called the wakey wakey round ones. Um, it's much cheaper to buy them in this form. Uh, Asda actually had, I think it was three for three pounds or something like that. Um, in the shop. Uh, I will eventually moving on to like other cereals but I think these ones at least I know they are safe for his age. Um, there's not loads of added uh, sugar and salt and stuff like that um, and he loves them and to be honest Ella's Kitchen is like my go-to brand for baby food and snack. I just I like the idea around the brand, I love the cookbook and the recipes they provide, I love educating the palate of young children to loads of different tastes and things like that and I think they are brilliant. So thank you Last Kitchen because having Alfie enjoying them on his high chair while I was able to cook at the same time was amazing. <laughs> so, and he loves them too. Next thing, we're going to stick to the mummy kind of theme or housewife or whatever you want to call it. These are my friends. They are my friends so much. Um, it's, I know I'm not going to include them this month because I have been, been using them particularly a lot this month, but I use them all the time. I've been using them for years and I will continue to use them. The first thing is the smell. It's ha it has like a lemon scent and to me the smell of lemons means cleanliness, like really clean. Oh god, I love this. Um, so you can use them on basically anything. They are dusters and they pick up everything. So I use them like for like shelves, like behind me for example, everything will be dusted with that. Um, in the bathroom I find like whenever I'm going to clean like the bath and everything, there's always like some dust there and if I spray it then it makes like, you know, it gets wet and it's harder to pick up. So I usually dust everything first and then put detergent or everything like that. I always have those in the house, I use them. I don't think there's one single room in my house where I don't use those. I just love them so much. So, Pledge, thank you for being so important in my life and making my life a lot easier. I feel like it's such a mummy, a mummy one this month, but let's move on to less mummy things. Well, mummies can use them too, but they are not really mummy exclusive. There are um, labels, like gift labels, well, sticky labels they are called. Um, I'm going to show them to you first with a sheet that's half used. They are the Busy Bee sticky labels. Uh, this particular one has um, those prints. I have quite a few. I have a Christmassy one. I have been using them quite a lot. And the prints are so lovely. I love the Busy Bee range anyway. But um, I'm going to try and show you. Like, uh, there you go. There's like loads of labels. and. I do like to use them a lot. I just think they are so nice. Um, and lately I've had a lot of like gifts to send or to give to people and all that. And I always find that having gift labels and like in, I actually now have a bag, which is an Ikea bag with a zip, where I put like all my wrapping paper, my wrapping ribbons, and I always keep some of those in. So then I have everything at hand, as well as a pair of scissors and some cello tape. 
and whenever I have a gift I can just pull my bag and I have all the supplies I need to wrap everything and label it and it looks nice and it doesn't take much and they are actually quite fairly inexpensive and in and in how do you say that? Unexpensive. That's the word, isn't it? Fairly inexpensive. Is that a word? Yeah, I think it is. Expensive and expensive. Anyway, I, I apologize if it's not a word, but I, I do believe it might be. Ooh. Fairly inexpensive. That sounds about right. Yeah, they are fairly inexpensive. Anyway. Last but not least. Okay, I didn't think I would be planning to show you such a thing. Of, like, really didn't. But yesterday I went to Ikea and I bought quite a lot of light features. Light features. I can't speak today. Light fittings for my house. We bought this house about four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. And um, we never actually put any light fittings. All our lights are a string, like a string with a bulb. Everything. Everywhere. We never bothered to do that. But I kind of feel like... At the moment, I want to make the house more homey and I want to finally start to decorate it properly. Um, I haven't, most of the, ha the rooms in our house are actually not painted. This one is. I've painted that like greeny color you can see in the back. Our living room is painted and one of the bathrooms I had to paint simply because there was mold on the wall and I needed to put like a mold uh, repelling paint. So I ended up painting it blue. And Alfie's room was painted because it was originally Owen's room and I thought it would be better to paint Owen's room when we moved in. He was a tiny baby and I thought if we paint it first, that was the only room that remained painted for probably about two years. <laughs> but lately I've been wanting, like when the spring time comes, I want to get the painting done. I kind of know what look I want to go with everywhere, but I thought we were in Ikea, we had some money aside and we want to put it in the house and we thought we'll just get the lights sorted. And for the hallway, like downstairs and the landing of the stairs, I just wanted something small, which is quite neutral, but at the same time it's still nice. And I didn't want just the string with the light. And I'm not a big fan of lamp shades because I find that most of the time they make the light, like they dim the light quite a lot. <clears throat> and I went to Ikea and I found this lamp. And I'm going to show it to you, it's not fitted yet. It's just, a, so that goes, okay, you have to imagine, this is at the ceiling. And this is not visible. Okay, I'm gonna try and do that properly if I can. Okay, so let's say it's like that. This is in the ceiling and this is the light and it's attached to my dress. And it is like a um, copper wiry thing with a bulb that goes inside. So the bulb is visible, which I don't mind. So I've picked a round bulb to go in that. But I thought it's very simple, but I love the fact that the cord and the thing that goes onto the ceiling are copper too. And I am planning to eventually uh, paint my hallway in like a grey. And I was always worried that, that grey could look cold. So I always I want to warm it up. But I don't want to go for a lot of colour. Uh, so I'm just thinking if I pick like metallic accents. Uh, by adding copper it add a little bit of warmth. I thought it would look nice. So I got two of those. They actually were only £12. And I think... It's a nice way to make, it's not a statement light, but it's still nice. I don't know if you know what I mean. So this is one of the lights. If you watch, if you watch the vlogs, you will be seeing me uh, adding a lot of lights into my rooms. I actually went for two lights I have been wanting since I've set my eyes on them in Ikea. Uh, for our bedroom, we got like a dandelion shaped one, the smaller one. And I've always dreamt of having this in my bedroom and we're finally gonna get it. I'm so excited and so nice. And for the office which I'm in now, we got one of these lights. I'm gonna show you actually. I haven't included it in my favorites yet because I haven't even installed it and I can only show you the picture but it's this light that it's like a ball and whenever you pull the string it opens into a like geometric shape and the inside of the light is that color which goes really well with our wall so this is going to be in the office that is for this month i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you next week for another video and at 5 p.m every day for the vlogs bye